We begin tonight with a Waymo electric vehicle that caught fire inside a warehouse today. It is still burning and it might be for weeks. Yeah, Steve Nielsen is live outside the facility where more than 60 firefighters responded to this, to the single car fire today. Steve, these electric cars uh, proving difficult for firefighters. Yeah, it's a whole new world now. Second Street and Buckeye, where we're, where we're at. Again, you just said 60 firefighters for a single car on fire. The problem is these batteries, they just burn so hot and for so long. And where we're standing right now, this is where Phoenix Fire says they started to institute some of their new strategies to try to combat these electric vehicle fires. They've only done it so far on a handful of cases. Loaded inside a dumpster, the roof is thrown off this electric vehicle. This is where it will burn for weeks. It started hours earlier inside a warehouse for Waymo, the driverless car. Phoenix Fire says at the 2nd Street and Buckeye facility, the sprinklers went off as a car caught fire for some reason. And those sprinklers prevented the fire from spreading. When one of those cells go, they all can go. These things burn at 3,000 degrees, so extinguishes are very, very difficult. After an hour of dousing the battery in water, they brought it outside on a forklift. Employees stood outside watching. No one was injured. The burned car was taken to a dumpster the streets department set up. They covered it in wet sand, and they'll let it stay there for weeks. It's a new strategy they've only done a few times. We may have not fought a EV fire like we did a year ago, but we're always advancing in our tech technology on how to extinguish these. these. You have to cool these down. Nearby business owners surprised at the size of the response. We saw everything coming down, didn't know what happened, and then all of a sudden they just blocked the roads off. Pretty quiet. People are calling us if we're closed, if we're on fire. It's a changing world, and even car fires now require hazmat teams and a response of multiple departments and 60 firefighters. These EV vehicles are all over, and you know, as, as time progresses, we are finding better and better ways to extinguish these, cool these vehicles down. Back live here. Behind this black fence, you can see that's the white dumpster there. The car is still inside there, smoldering right now, covered in sand, covered inside of that dumpster. Uh, Phoenix police, they tell us they're, of course, going to be investigating the cause of what happened, how this started. But also, Waymo tells us that the car was stationary when they caught fire. Other than that, they're going to have to figure out what happened here. Reporting live, Steve Nielsen, Fox 10 News.